Hey there, I'm headed to pick up my daughter to head over to our favorite thrift store. Come thrift with me and see what I end up picking up and make sure to stay to the end to see my haul and I hope you enjoy. So we headed to the uh, lamp section and I wanted to give you a little bit of footage and people were kind of staring at us like what's going on. Um, but I did end up finding a few cool things. I wanted to get to that brass thing but I had to move some stuff and I saw these Christmas candles and I thought oh those would be cool to have because they're vintage but everything was so tangled I had a hard time uh, I did put them in my cart um, but I ended up putting them back because I didn't like the color and they didn't they were blowing the bulbs out so my daughter helped me get this vintage brass lamp out that I've been wanting to look at that was what drew my attention first of all and it is a vintage lamp it might be like a vintage uh, lamp from the like a hotel room and i really didn't know what it was at first but i told her put it in the basket <laughs> so i'll show you more about that later it turned out so pretty but these these were pretty cool like i said but when i tested them they blew out the bulb that i tested it with so I didn't want to start a fire and so I left them there. Plus they were kind of that yellow color and I really didn't like them. My daughter was going to get this lampshade but ended up putting that back. But I didn't even look for a lampshade for my brass lamp that I had just found. But I did see these two uh, Tiffany style lamps. I'm not sure if they were real or not but I don't think so. So now we're in the back section where all of bigger items are and I'm kind of looking in these bigger baskets and wood pieces but really didn't see anything at first um, when we first went through and I wasn't feeling too great this day so I was like not interested in really digging <laughs> this time so if it wasn't right sticking out in front of me, I wasn't going to be going digging. <laughs> so comment below and let me know if you see anything that I should have picked up. I was having such a bad day. I thought I did a video of these, but it turned out it was just a picture. <laughs> um, I wish I would have gotten these. I looked at them like for Christmas, but I could have made them into a pretty cool Halloween couple. And I'm like kicking myself now. So I'm showing you what I have in my cart here. I picked up these uh, really cute stoneware uh, platters. The one had a chip on it on the back end, but I didn't care. They were really cute. And then there's these wooden uh, Dutch shoes. I think they're Dutch. And um, they were carved but I wasn't sure if they were worth anything because they didn't seem like wood I don't know it, what it was but then I found these cute antique purses that I picked up and I'll show you more of those later and then my daughter found this uh, tempered metal so pretty I was so jealous I wanted that for myself Okay, I'm sorry I didn't get a lot of footage this time, but I was having a really hard time with my nerves and people are just crazy in anywhere nowadays and reaching over and getting in my personal space. So I apologize, but I want to show you what I ended up getting. Now, I don't know what these originally were for, but these are like plastic panels and on the one side it's like really slippery like kind of slick and the other one's a little rough but I use uh, on my whoa on my storage shelves I use cardboard and so that because there's a lot of holes in it and I don't want my stuff to fall through because I have a lot of glass so I thought these would be perfect to sit on there instead of that and I can wipe it off easily it will stay in place better and there were five of them and I think I only paid a dollar oh dollar fifty so I figure that's pretty good for that so I got that 
and look who wants to check things out. <laughs> Presley, say hi. Hi, kitty. He's busy. So then in the bag, there was these two salt and pepper shaker set, and it was Pinocchio, look how cute, and the, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. I'll put it on the screen if I remember. <laughs> anyway, it was so cute, and I thought, it says Disney on it, and I know it's vintage, but they went and put it in some kind of like a Ziploc bag, and look, it broke. You know that's a clean break, a, a recent one, so it's not like it came that way, and they went and broke the darn thing. So I just thought it was too cute to leave behind, and I'm going to glue them and keep them for myself. So I had to share those. <laughs> and I don't know how old this little tree is. It's a mold like the vintage ones. And it kind of looks more vintage. But it was too cute. And I thought it would go really cute with my Christmas decor when I do it with my other trees. So I picked it up. I, I got it, I think, for 50 cents. Then I picked up this really delicate... Um, I have a, another one like it. It's just a sconce that you can put into a candle holder, but you need to put something here like a even rubber band around it will help hold it into the, um, or, or even hot glue, hold it into a candlestick. But it's so delicate and so pretty. I had to pick it up in case I want to decorate it at Christmas. Or any time, really. I just loved it. It was only a dollar. Then my daughter picked this up and said, what is this? And then I've seen these before where it's a little crooked, but I'm going to fix it. And it looks like for a tea light. And they use them for like a uh, hot balloon kind of tea light thing. So I'm going to just put it with my other silver stuff. I got it for 75 cents. And I'm going to kind of make it so it's not looks so it doesn't look crooked <laughs> and stick it with all of my other silver things and I know this is vintage it has that vintage look to it it's just like a I think it's a coaster but I could always just like stick it under something like a candlestick and use it for decor somewhere and it was only 75 cents and I always pick up these cute little bud vases. It needs to be cleaned. It looks like it's a little smoky look on the bottom. And then it has the fluted top. I think I have two, maybe three others in my collection. And I just love them. They're just cute and I know they're vintage. So I thought it would be cute to add to the other two or three that I have. Then I found several vintage purses, and I'm not sure the ages on these. This is really super pretty. This is my favorite so far. If you can see, there's like, I, I'm assuming just fake little stones in there. And it is a little worn. Um, has a cute little handle, but look at the inside. So I know it's old. There's no tags in it. And it's possibly, I'd say, 60s, maybe, 70s. But I'll have to look it up more. It's just really super cute. And I'm going to keep these all because I love them. And why sell stuff that you love? So I'm, I've got a few others that I've collected. And so I'm just going to keep them. And then this one here is super pretty. Oops. But it does have some wear on it. I'm going to have to use my fabric shaver on it and then leave the wear because it is old. This one's old, the oldest one, I think. And then look at that top there. And then I could even do like a magic marker across that once I get that cleaned up on the edge there. And then you just flip that open and it has the lighter color in it. So I know that this is way older than the orange color and it's marked with this JR USA. So I have to look it up still to see what, what it is, what it's worth, 
and I will possibly have the information on the screen if I find it. But it's so pretty. So I'm keeping that one. Whoops, if I don't want it. <laughs> this one seems newer. I'm not sure how old. I got this one for two. I think I paid two for that one and one for that one. I'm not sure. But this one has a bunch of little stones in there that are really pretty. And I kind of tried to look it up and I couldn't find anything. But the clasp thing here is a little bent. So I'm going to, oops, if you can see it. That's a little bent, so I'm going to have to bend it towards the clasp so it, it clips easier. But the inside is really pretty. It's got that black lining. It's all silver with the silver snake chain, which makes me think it might be 70s. Because you know those snake chains were like super popular in the 70s. I used to have one. <laughs> and a snake belt anybody how old I am anyway <laughs> super cute add to my collection so this tin is a vintage uh, coca-cola tin and it's for playing cards but the cards are gone and I paid a dollar for this but I just love the vintage Santa and the coca-cola look so I might just tuck that into a basket or just lean it up against my silver at Christmas time and just use it the way it is. I just love it. And just so you know, a lot of this stuff I wasn't going to buy to resell because I have so much stuff in my storage, so most of it is stuff I want to keep for myself. But look how cute this little piggy is. He's so cute, all distressed, he's tin. And I paid $1.50. And the cute thing about him is you could either hang him on the wall or he has these little legs that you can use for a tray. And I like the idea to use him for a tray to sit anything on, really. And I just, I, I fell in love with him. And I had to have him. Now this tray is not silver plated at all. On the back it said, I think right there if you can see it, maybe. Um, it's chromium plate, so I'm assuming it's chrome. It does have some uh, rust there, but I think I can probably get that off and clean it up pretty nice. But look how pretty those flowers are. They're just really pretty engraved in it. So I end up picking that up to go with my other silver plated stuff. Then I needed one of these curtain rods so that we can do like a blackout curtain on one of our weird shaped windows. So I got that for only $1.50. They're pretty expensive online, so I picked that one up. And then I picked up these cute platter plates and it says Union Pacific Overland. I paid $2 a piece for them and I'll have to read it and then post a, what it is on the screen but they are really pretty so I picked those up for myself. Then I found these uh, cute I think they're just silver plated. They're not marked as far as what I could see. I'll have to check them closer. But they're napkin rings and these beautiful silver uh, candle holders. And they were all in this bag and I paid a dollar for them. So I thought that would be really pretty to sit out. Even if I just put these all in one of my silver bowls, I thought that would be really pretty to sit out with all of my other silver. Then I found this Hidden Valley Ranch container. I don't know if you can see it very well. There you go. Hidden Valley Ranch with the little rancher and the fence. <laughs> I thought that was cute. And it looks really neat. And I paid a dollar. And it even has the little 
sealed top with the flip thing. Oh no, actually that's the pour. So you can pour it out easily. It's super neat. So I picked that up. So then I saw this brass wall hanging lamp that bends out. And if you can see here, it takes a shade. I'm not sure if it works because it they didn't have a light bulb and I'm assuming it does, but even then I don't care because it was so pretty. So I end up getting it. I think it was, oh, there we go. It was $5. So you hang this part on the wall and then this actually screws into each area and it comes apart for transferring, I guess. But you screw that into each area and then it hangs down the wall for some reason and then there's a plug to plug it in. So I'm gonna work with it and see what I can come up with and maybe give you a picture of it. I saw this cute little stool and it's got leather on the corners of it. Thought it was really neat. I paid $5 for it. And it does have some scuffing here. I think I can probably clean that up. And then just use it for one of my bigger plants as a plant stand. My favorite find is this beautiful cross. It's really big and long and pointy, if you can see by my hand. And it is broken right here. So I'm gonna try to build that up with some like spackling and then glue this piece down better because it, it wiggles on that side. I wish I could replace the blonde wood the way it is because I really love the way it looks. But it's gonna be painted, unfortunately. And I might do it gold. But on the back, it says handcrafted by V.K. Parsons. I can't read the rest, Arizona, in 1992. So it was made in Arizona in 1992. It's so pretty. So I saved it from being thrown out to the trash if nobody picked it up. I ended up getting it for $1.50 because it was broken. And I plan on fixing that. So stay tuned to see how it ended up. Because I think what I'm gonna do is do the gold robin buff so the antique gold look to it. It's going to be so pretty. Hubby took it out to the garage and used some really fine uh, steel wool and cleaned this up super nice and it's reflecting everything. <laughs> it's so pretty. Thank you honey. And here's that lamp all hung up. Hubby hung it for me and made sure it was on a stud so it wouldn't fall. But it's not even very heavy either and it's just so pretty right here in my entryway. I just love how it turned out. And you can move it, which I love that it bends and folds. You can move it different directions and have a different look if you want. It's just so pretty. I just love it. And I think my shade is a little too short but I might change that out, but still, I love it. So that's my haul, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you stayed this long, I appreciate you. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.